and a significant move aimed at bolstering maritime security. Amidst escalating tensions in the West Philippine Sea, President Ferdinand and Marcos Jr. has signed Executive Order 57. This order heralds the renaming and reorganization of the National Coast Watch Council into the National Maritime Council NMC, as announced by the Presidential Communications Office last Sunday. EO 57 underscores the urgent need to enhance maritime security and increase awareness of the country's maritime domain, particularly in light of China's aggressive actions in the West Philippine Sea. President Marcos emphasized the imperative of safeguarding the Philippines' territorial integrity and ensuring the safety of its citizens against external threats. Notably, the funding for the program aimed at strengthening the country's navy will be sourced from donations. As outlined in Section 7 of the Executive Order, the NMC is now authorized to accept donations, contributions, grants, bequests, or gifts from both domestic and international sources, provided they align with their responsibilities and comply with existing laws and regulations. Critics question why public funds, including those allegedly amassed for assistance, by certain individuals, such as Tamba Los Los and other congressmen, are not being utilized to support maritime security efforts. There is a call for legislators to demonstrate their patriotism by allocating their discretionary funds to the Navy if national security is indeed a top priority. Meanwhile, discussions on reallocating military pension funds to bolster the Navy's capabilities have emerged, suggesting a pragmatic approach to addressing maritime security concerns. Additionally, criticism is directed towards Vice President Sarah Dudert suggesting that her silence on China-related issues may stem from a desire to avoid endangering soldiers' lives, though some argue she should do more to address pressing domestic issues. Foreign and public relations expert S.A.S. Sasset has raised concerns that EO 57 echoes martial law sentiments, with its language hinting at potential escalation using the South China Sea as justification. Conversely, Others like Adrian Pasquale view the order as a necessary step to fortify the country's maritime security in the South China Sea and the West Philippine Sea. Amidst these developments, there is skepticism surrounding the efficacy of past symbolic gestures, such as former President GMAS paper Boat Diplomacy, in addressing substantial issues affecting the Filipino populace calls for substantive action and genuine concern for the welfare of citizens, particularly those affected by conflicts, underscore the need for a comprehensive and proactive approach to national security and foreign relations.